Well, hello, cool cats and kittens. I'm Toy Insanity. Today we're going to look at the crazy cat lady action figure from Akutemon. Akutemon outfit is a popular couch. Yeah. All right, check it. The Akutemon's toys. You find them in, in uh, gift stores, gift shops. Independent local mom and pop toy shops. All right, they're pretty cool. I think they're cool, but you know, a lot of times it's just like, hey, Karen, it's Karen's birthday. What is Karen like? Well, she has a lot of cats. <laughs> well, let's get her this action figure of crazy cat lady. And Karen really doesn't appreciate that. So people usually don't even open them up. They eventually end up at the thrift stores. <laughs> so they're still funny. They're still funny. They're still, they're still cool. I mean, they've done a barista, they've done uh, a hipster. They also do some historic figures. They'll do like an Einstein, a Jesus. They'll do a uh, uh, Julius Caesar, I don't know. But it's a crazy cat lady. She funny, she funny. But look at this, great articulation. You got the shoulder, you got the elbows, and you got the... Not the neck, not the neck. And you got knees. That's it. Ow! Oh! Kind of like a weight, kind of like a play mobile waist. Ah, I'm overwhelmed by cats. But to get maximum humor, maximum humor, they put a lot of copy on their packages. We're gonna read that. You're gonna like it. You're gonna thumbs it up. All right. She's just bewildered. She got a cat in her pocket, cat in her hair. 2004, Ma. I think you could still get these, though. You know, I don't know if they've ever updated the copyright on their packaging. I don't know. I don't know anything. Stop asking me if I know. She got some scrapes and cuts. She got a bandage on the finger, another bandage. She's getting attacked by her cats. What's impressive about this one is you get six cats. Look at that. What, look, look at a cute little cat. Another cat. Little cute, cool, cool cat, cool, cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Look at this cat. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Yeah! I mean, these little cats are nice. Excellent painting on these little cats. I was thinking you might want to put Crazy Cat Lady with your Lost Kitties collection. I don't know. She freaking me out. Look at that face. All right, we got to do this copy. Oh, it's a quiz. Are you a crazy cat person? Take this quiz to find out. Do you get excited when you hear a can opener? <laughs> Do I? Not really. No. Do you think cats are smarter than people? Some people. Let's be honest. Do you feel Tom is more talented than Jerry? Ah! That's a great dilemma. Talented? No, I think Jerry's probably more talented. He's always outsmarting Tom. Do you have more cats than ex-boyfriends? I am not going to tell you how many ex-boyfriends I have. That is none of your business. Do you bring new, new boyfriends home so they can meet them? No. no. It's never happened. Do you later break up with them? Because the cats weren't impressed. You don't like my cats? You can hit the curb. It's weird because it says, are you a crazy cat person? Like it's gender neutral. But then there's all this stuff about boyfriends. Do you spend more on doctor bills for your cats than for yourself? No. Not at all. How many more, qu How many more questions? If you answered yes to seven or more of these you may be a crazy cat person. Oh, we got more questions still, but I just want to see what, what, what the marker was going to be. Seven. 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 Play along with your computer at home. All right. Do you buy the ice cream your cats prefer instead of the kind you like? No, I get both. Can you tell your cats apart by the roughness of their tongues? Gross! Have you ever warned a guest not to sit on a specific piece of furniture because it belongs to the cats? No. That's the worst part about having cats is the cat hair everywhere. 
Do you own more than one piece of clothing with a cat on it? Yes, of course. Tigers count. Do you have a website devoted to your cats? Do you have a website for each cat? Now that is extreme. You are an insane cat person if that applies to you. Cat insanity. Do you spend more on Christmas presents for your cat than your family? No, absolutely not. Yet yeah, that is, that, a lot of these are insane. But you only got to get seven to be certified crazy. Do you buy more than one kind of cat food because a few of your cats are picky eaters? I think that's a fair one. If anyone with more than one cat should be saying yes on that. I would think. I mean, I don't know. Have you ever had to explain to a police officer that the stuff in the bag is really catnip? That one is kind of funny, I guess. Do you feel the ancient Egyptian tradition of the cat worship is the one true religion? Yes! Anubis. Wait, Anubis is a dog though, right? I gotta take that back. I, I don't know. Moloch, whatever whatever the deal with Moloch, the owl god, that's the one true religion. Is the sheet of instructions for watching your cats while you're on vacation longer than a page? Two pages. And it says, what vacation? Well, I'm going to Egypt to find out about the cat gods. Crazy. Cat. Lady. It's three quotes. It says, you can't help that. We're all mad here. That's from the Cheshire Cat. Cats are intended to teach us that not everything in nature has a purpose. That's Garrison Keeler. That guy just got canceled. That guy got canceled like uh, a year ago, maybe. If I die before my cats, I want a little bit of my ashes put in his food so I can live inside him. Drew Barrymore. That is insane. I can't believe she said that. Crazy cat lady. <laughs> Accoutrements box.